So we're in the modeling window and let's go ahead. We're gonna put some iron in down here in this southeast corner. Before we start doing that, just wanna step through some of that ease of use stuff we were talking about a little bit ago. Uh, so um, there's the ribbon style toolbars we were talking about. One thing you'll notice in SDS2 is everything works in a left to right workflow. So your layout, putting in your construction lines, your grids, your circles, things like that. Going to the right, members, adding your different member types, beams, columns, bracing, stair rail, so on. Uh, materials, adding materials to your members. Maybe it's a deck bearing angle on a beam web or something like that. This is where you would add it. Finally, creating your drawings right here from the model. Click of a button. We can detail members. Uh, you can detail your erection views and so on. And then the rest of these are just tools you'll use along the way. We talked a little bit before, too, about that. Uh, the visual feedback as I start scrolling down, you'll see it's highlighting over here on the left, that blue box I talked about. As we click, it's going to take us to that drawer to find that command we were looking for. So when you're getting started in SDS2, if there's, you think there should be a way to do something, there probably is, uh, use that search functionality. I mentioned this. I've been doing this for around 20 years now. Uh, there's still things, times I use the search menu, and I'm a veteran in this particular software. Um, so there's going to be things you forget. There's going to be things you don't know how to do. Use that search feature. Huge, uh, huge time saver in just trying to learn how to navigate your way around the model. So uh, first things first, I think when I typically would start a job, um, I like to be able to see my reference drawings right here in the model. And I've gone ahead and uploaded a few of them for you. You can see, obviously, we have the plan views. We have the elevation view over there at the stair tower. Just a nice heads up display to work from. They're reference drawings. So uh, you'll bring them in, you'll scale them up, you know, it depends on how good the reference drawing is, uh, how accurate it's going to be. But to me, that doesn't matter because what this is replacing for me is looking down at my desk or looking over to my second or third monitor um, to try and translate that information back over here accurately. So again, if we, if we were just to surface down here, you're going to see nice heads up display. You can work from right there in the modeling environment. I'm going to go ahead and split screen so we can see what's going on on both sides of the arena here. So we've already got our construction lines in. I took care of that for us. So we're going to start with members. Just like any other software that you've been used to, you're going to build that rinse and repeat workflow. And this member add command box is going to be where you spend a lot of that time. We're going to start with columns. First thing you're going to see pop up is this member quick add toolbar, just a faster, more efficient way to put iron into the model. I'm going to start here again. We're going to use that left to right workflow on the member quick add toolbar. I'm going to type in my section size. I know I'm looking for a W14 by 74 because I'm looking at my reference drawing. If you're not a typer like me, you can hit the file menu and you'll see SDS2 is going to come fully loaded with all of those section sizes you need to complete your project. We're a plug and play system. There's no third party downloading you have to do or purchases you have to make. Everything you see me doing here today is exactly what you're going to have access to the first time you open up the software. Stepping to the left, go and put a base plate on here. I've already created some base plates off of the design drawings I was working from. If you were to open them up and expand them out, uh, you'd be able to see that the pictures, uh, and that's all controlled through the front end of the screen. You're gonna go out to the home screen to do that, and you'll be able to have all the visual aids you need uh, to go ahead and build that base plate. Give it an elevation, 99.6 sounds good. Top of column conditions, plain end today. Top of column elevation is 136 feet. And from there, I'm just going to start clicking. And as I'm clicking in, over here on the right in the 3D, you're going to see members that are going in a stick. You're going to see other members uh, that are going as uh, from solid to stick and back to solid. That's the automated connection design that I mentioned a little while ago at work behind the scenes. I'm going to give this a right click. Wouldn't close this window out. Hit SA on our keyboard because we all love our keyboard shortcuts. And we're going to see SDS2 is already doing those connections up for us.